Hey guys, Jeff from Pressure Luck, and I got a haircut. Okay, so you know, I want to tell you something. I always thought that things of the squash or gourd family should never have gone outside the limitations of being no more than a decoration for a Thanksgiving table or a carved jack-o'-lantern on Halloween. Eating it? Ugh, forget about it. Until last week. Now, let's say it's Sunday, and Nona Sofia or Nona Conchetta wants to make delicious spaghetti and marinara sauce. Let Nona Conchetta make the sauce while you make the spaghetti squash. Ah, spaghetti squash. My favorite dancing partner at the moment. Just three and a half pounds of magic in my hands. And in just five minutes, you're gonna see what's gonna happen, and it's gonna blow your mind if you've never done this before. Watch. Now, while I don't like to butcher things, I'm sorry, spaghetti squash, you're gonna be butchered right down the middle. And because I am filming with one hand and cutting with the other, I'm just gonna save a step and show you what I do. Okay, so I just cut it down the middle in the half, and now we have these seeds and all this like little, I don't know, the little gunk in the middle. So what I do is I take an ice cream scooper, a little handy tip I came up with, and we're gonna just scoop the inside out with all the seeds. And again, I can't really do it with two hands. I need a better camera setup. And uh, I'll show you what happens right afterwards. There we go. Just like you're scooping some ice cream, you get all of that into there and just scoop it right into the garbage. And there's the last of it there. And when you're done with it, it should really just, that's fine if it looks just like that right before we put it into the pot. Get that in the garbage though. Okay, for the next step, all I'm doing is adding one cup of water. Make sure the uh, little trivet is in there. Add that in there. And then I lay in each half of a spaghetti squash like so. So it's kind of on its side, just like that. You might add in right there, just like that. That's completely fine. And then we're gonna put our lid on. We're gonna set it to manual for five minutes. You can do it for six minutes if you want to, but I'm gonna do it for five minutes. And of course, make sure that we are in steaming position. And magic, magic, magic. That sound, again, my favorite. All right. So now we're gonna quick release. Just take a few minutes. All right, only took about a minute and a half for that to uh, release. Lift the lid, and there we go. Now, I'm like, the first time I saw that, I'm like, how is this gonna look like spaghetti? <laughs> oh, watch. So, so all it takes is a fork, and come in here and watch how easy this is. It's insane, it's literally, it just turns into like a spaghetti-like consistency with the noodles, just like this. As soon as you just start taking it into shredding, it takes so quickly to do. And seriously, presto, spaghetti-o. They don't call it spaghetti squash for nothing. And I've put all the spaghetti squash from the squash into this bowl for the time being. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to be careful. I mean, it's cooled some, but obviously be careful. I took... Um, this out of there, and I'm going to just dump the water so there's nothing in there. I'm gonna return it to the pot just like now so. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit saute, and I'm just gonna, the 30 minute time is fine. I'm gonna leave it on the less option, and I'm going to now dump the spaghetti squash right into the instant pot, just like so. Okay, and now I'm going to add a little bit of marinara sauce. It's jarred, but don't tell no. This stuff is actually like my favorite jarred sauce that you can find. It's Victoria White Linen. You can get it at Costco for a good, very good price. I could drink this stuff out of the bottle, I swear. All right, give it a little stir so the sauce coats all of the spaghetti squash. And you can use as little as, or as much sauce as you want. You can season this as much as you want, too. You can add some, um, if you want some, some oregano or Italian seasoning to add to it, that's fine. I don't think it needs it, but that's fine. Now I'm going to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese to it as well, because I feel like that makes gives it a nice flavor. And then you just stir it in there with it, just like so. I mean, does this look like spaghetti to you, or does this look like squash? And it's going to be a very satisfying substitute for spaghetti without any of the carbs, and you feeling great. And after just about a few minutes of just mixing it around in there, we're done. We're ready to serve this. So I'm going to just take some right out of the pot, ladle it right into my bowl, and again, you can garnish as you see fit. Oh, it smells so good, you guys. Let's try it. There it is. Mm. It's absolutely delicious. And seriously, it has like a delicious 
al dente spaghetti. If you want it to be softer, you can steam it a little longer. You could also saute it on very low in the pot, maybe a little longer if you want softer noodles. But they taste absolutely delicious. It's a wonderful alternative to spaghetti and, and pasta sauce um, with so much less guilt. Guys, I've been eating this like the last couple days and I've been continuing to lose weight because of it. It's amazing. I can't recommend it enough. And if you guys like these videos, subscribe. Mamma mia! It tastes good to eat the pasta without having any guilt.